Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn day into night in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use a LUT to turn day photos into night images. Now, a LUT is short for look up table, and it's a tool that basically analyzes the colors in your images and makes any shifts necessary. Now, the cool thing about LUTs is that you can use them in a variety of programs. You can even use them for video. And we actually have an entire library of LUTs available on flurn.com that's included in your Flurn Pro subscription. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to do it. Now, here's our sample image for today. You're going to be able to download this as well as the LUT that we create for this video. So to get to your LUTs, simply go to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and down to Color Lookup. Now, this will allow you to apply a look with one click. So let's go ahead where it says 3D LUT file. Of course, you can load your own, and that's where the Flurn library of LUTs comes in because you can download them and load them in here. Or you can simply use one of these that's preloaded with Photoshop. So let's go ahead and go from the top down. We have a two strip dot look, and you can see as I go down the list here, my image completely changes. Each one of these different LUTs gives my image a different look. And it does this by simply pushing and pulling colors in one direction, taking our highlights and it's pushing them towards a yellow effect, giving us this edgy amber. Now these are included with Photoshop, so you can just open up Photoshop right now and go ahead and go through this list. Now I'm not gonna go through all of them, but right down here we see night from day dot cube. And here you can see it does a really great job turning a day photo into night. Now my suggestion would be to choose a photo that has a relatively well-defined light source. You can see here we have our bright highlights and our dark shadows. That's generally how uh, light works at night because it's like street lights and things like that. You don't have like huge broad light sources, it's generally smaller point lights. So look for an image that has uh, like well-defined shadows. It's gonna look a little bit better. Now, I think that this setting works okay. To be honest, it's a little bit too saturated straight out of the box. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just lower the opacity of it a little bit. There we go. And now I'm gonna to go to my adjustment layers. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to hue slash saturation. Hit okay there. And I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a little bit. And this is giving it kind of a dusk look. Let's go ahead and maybe bring the opacity back up there just a little bit. Fantastic. And I think this is looking really nice. So we just turn those off and back on, and it's a very quick day to night transformation. I think maybe it's a little too saturated still, so we'll just take that down just a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and provide this for download on flurn.com for free. So in order for me to export it, it's actually really easy to do. All I have to do is shift click on the adjustment layers that I'd like to be included in my LUT. We're gonna go to file, we're gonna go down to export, and I'm gonna go to color lookup tables. Lookup tables is, stands for a LUT. There we go. We have our description, flurn day to night. We're just gonna take that JPEG away. Okay, and we wanna make sure we include all of our different formats, and this is gonna help them be used in multiple different programs. So I'll hit okay there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just make sure we put this in our LUTs folder. You can see it's gonna be flurn day to night dot LUT, and hit save. Fantastic. So if you wanted to load this LUT into Photoshop, let's go ahead and make those two invisible. We could simply go to our layer, down to new adjustment layer, and down to color lookup. Hit okay. And then here where it says 3D LUT file, load 3D LUT, let's go ahead and click there and go to your file that you just saved out. We're gonna go to flurndaytonight.cube and hit open. And there we go. We can see it applied to that exact effect that we just saved out and it's in one layer. So I can go ahead and delete these other two layers. We don't need them, we're gonna drag them to the trash. And now this LUT, you can see, is saved right here and we have our Flurn Day Tonight LUT. So that's gonna be available for download as well as a sample image for free on flurn.com. And if you like LUTs and think they're useful, which I think they're incredibly useful because they can recolor your images with just a click, be sure to check out Flurn Pro. It's a subscription that gives you access to over 200 of our pro tutorials. It's your full length tutorials teaching you Photoshop, retouching, photography, compositing, things like that, as well as our exclusive library of Lightroom presets, LUTs, actions, and brushes. Alrighty, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.